Welcome back everybody to another episode of CityZilla Plays City Skylines and in this episode we are going to be expanding with some residential and I think we are going to add in some water taxis. I was kind of looking at this coastline right here and I really like to use ferries. Um, I haven't used one in a city in quite some time and so I was kind of looking at this space over here along with the space that we're going to be working on today um, with these high key walls that we have. It, kind of makes it difficult to be able to add in some stops right here. So I think we'll actually make it just go from this end to the other end. And I think once we start unlocking some more squares, I think our next unlock is, yeah, Metropolis at 70,000. Um, playing on these bigger maps definitely is kind of a challenge. I can now better understand why a lot of the creators choose the smaller maps because it is kind of harder. A lot of my episodes involve us building out residential areas just because we have such far, you know, milestones that are so large. And so let's go ahead and dive in. Um, to start off, I think what we're going to have to do is lower this because this is kind of a steep grade. And so I think what we are going to do is go in here to the level tool and then we're just going to make it kind of small. And I want it to be really close to the edge. What I was thinking is we could use an, another one of those new key walls the parisian one i think that would be really cool and so we're going to come in here and we're just going to take some of this away and it's definitely going to be kind of a challenge i was thinking maybe we could do like some slopes i think that would look really cool because then we could have like a little road i don't know if we'll do any shopping or anything down here we'll probably just turn it into like a park space and so we'll probably get rid of this I'm thinking maybe up to there. I think that would probably be good. And then we can get rid of these little trees. And so I've left this space empty for quite some time. And I really wanted to do something unique. and But something that also fit in with the rest of the city. And so it was kind of a challenge thinking about what to do. And, you know, part of me wanted to go really unique and try to be different but then another part of me wanted to just kind of blend in with the city and so I decided to kind of go in the middle and uh, find something that was functional so we're going to go ahead and do this and I think for right now that's probably good another thing that I wanted to add was some key walls surrounding that road because I think what we'll do is kind of make that into a sunken little highway since it's already kind of down a little bit and so we'll probably just keep that like right yeah and so my idea with this is to make it into like a park area with the ferry I think that would be really cool and so one of the first things we are going to do is delete this little road right here it does kind of suck for these residents um, they are going to be out of a home especially they live there for quite some time and so demolishing that road is definitely a huge challenge but I, I didn't really I don't think it's going to fit in that well if we leave that there. And so I think it just made more sense us doing that. It does kind of break up the neighborhood a little bit, but it does add in some nice park space in the middle. And so I think that's going to work right there. And then one thing I wanted to do, we need to figure out something for our freeway access. Because we don't have any freeway access for that huge kind of mega neighborhood I did on the last episode and so I was thinking maybe we'd add freeway access right there and then maybe finagle this one because I, I want that one to to come in but I also don't want it to no maybe we'll just keep that like that and then let's see if we can just get this to come up over here apparently on click and there we go and so what I was thinking is come up here and then let's go ahead and do those key walls so I think it would look really cool I like using key walls we definitely have a lot of them I don't know if having this many would be be normal but Remember, there's there's a few areas in Las Vegas that have these key walls, and I, I think they just look really cool. A lot of times they're used when um, there's already a, a pretty drastic change in elevation, 
And so the developers really don't have too much of a choice in terms of they either need to remove a ton of soil or just build the complex or whatever it is around the height. And so there's a really cool neighborhood in kind of an upscale portion of Las Vegas that has this. And I think it looks really cool. It's actually kind of like a mall area and it has a casino and I think it just looks really good. And so it's one of the things that I always think of when I think of like different elevations or raised neighborhoods. Oh, kind of messed up this road here. That's a little weird. Definitely don't want that. We want it to be gentle. Yeah, I think that looks good. And then what we'll do is we'll just level this out. And we'll probably bring it up. That looks good. And then we definitely need to fix this one. I want it to be right up on the sidewalk. Whenever you do these key walls with the key anarchy, it always kind of messes up the elevations a little bit. I think that looks good. This is a little sharper than I was wanting it to be. Um, but I think that right there is pretty solid. And then what we can do is come in here and actually butt up right to that. That would be good. It looks like we have... Yeah, we'll probably have to come in closer than that because we have the metro tunnel going right there. But I think for right now that looks okay. And so we need to figure out a spot where this is going to terminate up here. So let's go ahead and go to our slope tool. And I want to choose down here, right click, and then I want to go up here. And the goal is for us to be able to do a road on this not one that's going to look real iffy. We want people to feel comfortable to kind of walk down here, especially since the ferry stop can be down here. We want it to be utilized. I think that's probably pretty good. It's a little fishy at the end right there, but I think for our purposes, it's probably good. And so I want to continue on this road really hope this looks good. I was kind of thinking about it and I was like, you know, I just want to do something where it's going to be like a high rise neighborhood, but also a little unique um, and functional. And so I think what we'll end up doing is a lot of walking paths. I think that would be good. I think we'll probably just do that. Just curve it in and then follow this road. And then I do want this road to continue on. Yeah, there we go. And so that, I mean, it's a little under the under the rail line right there, but that's not bad. We do need to come in here real quick and change up these roads. It's because they're all elevated for some weird reason. I think it just turned it into a bridge, and so we can't actually... We can't even adjust any bus lines or anything on those roads. And so I think it would make more sense for it to be level. I think we'll extend our bike lane back here too. We're not going to go all the way back, but I think having the bike lane at least to this beginning section would allow people to theoretically maybe walk their bike or put their, their bike on the sidewalk and then go into the street. I think that would be smart and so i think this is a pretty decent layout starting out it's kind of swooping um wasn't exactly what i was thinking but i like this little bridge section i think that looks pretty cool yeah i think that looks great this is definitely higher up than the other side maybe we'll end up raising this up just a little bit yeah there you go kind of makes it into a little bit bigger of a bridge but And there we go. And so we need to figure out something for this other side. Slope terrain tool. We'll come up here and we'll probably wrap it around. Yeah, I think that would be good. I think this would be pretty cool. Um, I really like having riverfront areas. 
kind of like what we already have, but our other section is more centered around commercial as well with our nightlife and everything. And so I really wanted to do something that was more just nature. And that is a little too intense. Yeah, there we go. I mean, I think that's pretty good. We're really just looking for something that's going to fit this little fairy pier. I wanted to do the pier too, but then also these Parisian style key walls. I really like these. I actually remember um, being in Paris and these being one of the things that I was like, man, that's like really cool because they had live entertainment on them. And I just, I thought it was really cool, especially coming from a place where we don't really even have water like that. And so it was, it was interesting to see. I really enjoyed it. And so people could come out here and sit down. Like there's these little lights and walking paths and they could just kind of sit on the side of the water and, and just enjoy, um, enjoy their time. And so I think over here would be good because then we're on the other side of the bridge. And so we wouldn't even have to mess with that. But then we want to kind of mess with this a little bit. I think I'm just going to put it at the same height as. Yeah, I think that looks really good. I like how the key wall kind of terminates right there. I think we'll end up cleaning up this just because I think this looks a little weird when the key walls are like that. I prefer them to be cleaner. Yeah, there you go. I think that looks good. And then we got like this nice little uh, kind of swooping curve. And then ideally, I mean, people could walk down here. And so I think what we're going to do, though, is add in some... We want parking. So I think we'll probably just do the regular two lane just so that we can utilize parking. And then I was kind of hoping to get this into a little bit better of a spot, but I mean, that's pretty steep. Let's see if we can maybe clean it up with the network multi tool. Uh, yeah. I mean, that definitely looks a lot better. It's a little raised on this side, but it still allows room for this walking path, which I think is great. And so let's go ahead and continue on this side. And there we go. Kind of the same thing. It's a little steep, so I think I'm going to do the same, same thing with this. Yeah, there you go. And perfect. That definitely looks a lot better. I think that looks pretty cool. And so we'll probably come in here and do some trees. Maybe we'll, we could tree line it. Or we could just do some kind of spotted trees. I really, I'm kind of always attracted to these colorful trees. I really like them. They look really landscapey, but... I think it would be more fair to just have some of these trees and so the goal would be for people to actually be out in the grass maybe reading a book underneath one of these trees or something or kind of just hanging out maybe having a picnic or whatever and then they could just walk over to the little key wall too and so I think what we'll do let's go ahead and I want to do some walking paths and so I think we're going to do, I think we'll do the university path. I think that looks pretty good. And then actually reminds me, um, we are so close to finally unlocking prestigious on this. Um, I actually think it might be here in just a couple minutes. In fact, oh, you know what? We have to unpause it. So I actually think we will unpause it and let that run just so we can maybe get that unlock. So we haven't really messed up any roads other than um, these residential buildings. And so I'm just going to go in and replace them real quick so that people can kind of move back in. <clears throat> and so what I was thinking, so university path, and we will 
I want it to be right next to this key wall to kind of almost make it look like an extended key wall, but Yeah, there you go. And so I would like to curve this down. I mean, that's a little steeper than I was hoping, but that would still be a really cool walk because you'd be able to see out over the water and look at the bridge in our little university. And I think that would be really cool. No, I would definitely walk on it. Just kind of check it out. There's some pretty cool cities that I've been to where they have things that are similar to that, and they're always really fun. For this one, maybe we'll start curving it earlier. Okay, so we'll come down here. Let's see if we can turn it. Well, it looks like for this one, we'll just go straight down. I'm, I think that's good because I mean this one kind of terminates a little quicker, and so maybe this side, if you wanted to come over here. So I mean, I think that looks pretty good. It's a little steep right here, so maybe we'll. I mean, it's a walking path, so it wouldn't wouldn't matter as much. It's not like it's a road. But still, you would want it to be accessible. There you go. I mean, I think this one looks pretty good. I think we will actually try the network multi-tool on this one. Let's see if we can get it in a good spot. Yeah, there you go. And you know what? That worked really well. I'm actually really surprised. Yeah, that's perfect. So maybe we'll do it on this side too, just to... Um... Just to clean it up a little bit. Make it a little more realistic of a slope. We still got some pretty good walking distance. It'd be pretty close. So maybe we will just lift this one up a little bit. Just to give them a little bit of breathing room down there. So they wouldn't be right underneath it. Yeah, there you go. So you can see the lamppost. That's good. So I think that is definitely what I was going for. And so for this neighborhood, now we uh, got something weird happening right here. We normally don't have a ton of traffic right here. But for some reason, these people are just getting all backed up. Um, which leads me to our next issue. So... All of these people in our giant mega community are coming down here, and this is their closest freeway entrance, and so we need to create more access. What I'd like to do, I was thinking, because this isn't the greatest location for, I don't want to have on and off ramps right here. This is a big road, and so I think we'll probably do a multi-point, maybe put one on this side and then one over here, and it just helps to kind of split up the traffic. I think that would be smart and so we'll come in here and we'll do highway and so we'll probably go like right there yeah that's good and then so i'm actually going to use the network multi-tool on this one and so we want a three and one i think that would be good we'll probably go i mean I think that would be good like right there did we want it on this side I think it would be the other way. No, I think it would be this way. And so let's let's see what it brings up. We might put that to the other side of the road. You know what, I think that actually looks pretty good. Yeah, we'll do that right there. And then we'll just come in here and uh, upgrade this road so that we can get these two bridge pieces. I think that one will probably stay. Yeah, I think that's good.
And so for the other side, we'll want to give it some space, maybe back here. Yeah, that's good. And we'll just choose these, we'll come over here. It's funny, I think it's going all the way on the other side of the map. So it looks like we'll just do it on our own. Yeah, there you go. I think that looks pretty good. And it's actually at a really good slope too. It's not too crazy. But we do want to fix this up just a little bit. I just want it to be a little more center. And so we'll go into Node Controller. We'll see if we can change these without messing up the road too much. Yeah, there you go. I think I think that looks pretty good. We do need to switch this around though. We definitely don't need three roads coming in. We want three roads coming out. And the reason I'm doing three is because eventually we could uh, extend the road. Actually, you know what? I think we'll just do two in one. Because then we can have a smaller road. I think that would be smart. So we'll do two and one we'll come down yeah that's perfect there you go and then now it's at least a smaller road kind of makes this a little more agreeable and so we'll do the same thing on this side <coughs> but we'll probably terminate it like eh, i think right there would probably be good and so we'll come out here and we will go right there and we'll probably so Come into highway. And I think honestly that looks pretty good. We just need to maybe fix up this little weird curve we got going on. And don't know how much we're gonna be able to fix that. And just for them to bank that way seems kinda weird we would want it to be kind of straight. Yeah, I mean, you know what? I think that looks pretty good. It's a little low right here, so maybe we'll raise that up. Raise that up, and then let's come in here and add in a couple four-lane roads so we can give them that buffer on the freeway, and you can kind of see all the traffic's already building up over here. We definitely got to set up the, the priorities for these. Whether we'll do lights or we just got to kind of gauge and see how much traffic ends up taking these roads. As you can see, I mean, it's it's definitely a lot of people already. And so I don't know why these people are stopping. This should fix itself. That should, I mean, ideally make it a little better. Funny, there's so many people getting off at this exit. Let's just see where they're all going. Okay, so looks like I mean the majority of them are getting on the freeway or going across that road. We really need to 
Let's see. I know we got a bus that's like right here. Yeah, let's just add a bus line right there. I think that could be good right there. Uh, no. We'll move that right there. You know, I think I'm going to... Let me change this priority. Because so there's not a lot of traffic coming in here. I mean, that already fixed a lot of it. I think it was just the surge of all the new cars taking this route. Because we even got a little bit of a backup over here. I, I don't think we set up a lot of these interchanges, though. It's like this one right here. You want to give priority to the main road. And so all of these should be giveaways. We don't want people stopping on the main road. It's going to cause a ton of problems just by doing that. And we got a fire. Got some little fire helicopter action going on. And there you go. Yep, look, this already got cleared up quite a bit. Just It was just because we had placed that new interchange down, and so it was like a huge surge of cars taking that new interchange. They're like, yeah, quicker access home, which is great. I mean, we want a ton of people taking it, but so we just want to make sure that we don't have any other crazy backups that came out of nowhere. I mean, we got 77%, which is pretty good. I like it a little closer to 80, but yeah, see, this is moving now, and so we'll go ahead and go back to what we were doing before, uh, before we got distracted, and so I think that's good. Um, and so for this neighborhood, we have a couple options. I think because this road is coming in, I thought it would be cool to kind of take some ideas from our little entertainment area where I ended up doing those roundabouts in the middle. I think they look really cool and so I think what we're gonna do is come down there. I kinda want it to be in the middle and then we're gonna put a roundabout in there and what we're gonna do with this roundabout is place some roads and we want street parking so I'm gonna do the regular ones. I'm gonna turn off road guidelines and I want to come down there and we'll probably Come right there. And because this is a high density neighborhood, we kind of do want to favor functionality over uniqueness. Though I do like having unique neighborhoods. Um, we just want to be careful for traffic. And so it's kind of a weird, I think it's because it's a bridge piece. We'll go back in here. Yep. And there you go. And so what I was thinking is probably, I mean, we will come back, come over here, and we'll come down there. And there you go. I mean, it's not great, but for like a high rise neighborhood, I think that could work. You know, and I think we will delete that. And we'll go back to the drawing board. Maybe we will just go down here. And we'll just meet that up there. Maybe we'll just leave that empty. That could be like a nice little open area. And so what I want to do is put a bridge in here. So 
Let's curb this. Yeah, I mean, there you go. It's definitely, I was kind of hoping to do something a little more unique on this side, but I think having the open spaces will be nice because um, we're going to do a ton of walking paths. And so, and then for this side, what I wanted to do was something similar to the other side. And so I think we will have this come down. Maybe we will have it go like right there and we'll do another roundabout. And then we'll have this one, hopefully, because we've got a little more space. It's kind of weird. I knew it was going to do that. I think it's the ground. Yeah, the ground's a little iffy. <clears throat> Well, there we go. So we got a pretty unique little layout here. I think for this one, because I really wanted to do at least a couple curves in here, I think that would be good. And then we'll probably have this one come down here, flat now, and then terminate into this road. And so there we go. We got a little bit of curvy action going on. And then we'll probably have this one come up here. I really don't want to terminate into one of these roads. This is already a high volume interchange. And so maybe we will just have it turn around. That could be good. Cause in this little intersection could maybe be like a park. Let's see about putting a small park in here. Let's see if we can just wrap the road around that. And that could be good. Yeah, there you go. I mean, it's not really what I was going for, but I think it, it looks okay. I mean, it's about breaking up the grids, and so we'll probably delete that. And then for this guy... Probably just go straight off, terminate. I mean, I think that looks pretty good. We definitely got quite a bit of open space, but it's not bad. I mean, if it, as long as we don't put any commercial in here, we could probably get away with this tighter grid. Um, for the residents, though, it wouldn't be super great, but I mean, you could maybe assume that maybe one developer purchased this whole piece of land, and so they're trying to you know, be super unique about it and create a fun little neighborhood. And so maybe we will add, because we could, I mean, these junctions are already so close though. And we got, I mean, three access points over here and we got one, two, three, three access over there with a the big one right here. And so, you know what? I don't want to get too crazy with that. I think this is going to be okay. And so I think we'll go right there. And we'll go right there. This side's definitely a little more squared off than that side, but I think that looks good. And we got the little bridge in. And so let's come in here and put in some walking paths. I want to keep using those university paths. Just gonna lower these down. 
because I think they start off really steep. I know I've said it a million times, but I really wish that there were steps in this game. I think it would be a little more realistic, so hopefully in the next one they put steps. I think this right here looks a little weird, so maybe we will. Maybe I could curve it across, because I was kind of hoping to get like a connected. Maybe we'll just have it terminate right there. And then we'll have this guy connect right there. Go right there. We'll have this guy come over here. We'll probably do another one on the other side. Just because why not. And there you go. I think that looks pretty good. I do want to put in... one on this side and I want to connect this up I think that looks pretty good the more path access you put the more people walk and so if you build especially high-rise neighborhoods with a ton of paths then your city tends to do better and these are one of the things that's commonly overlooked you know you're focusing on road layouts or or whatever and then you just you forget about it until after the buildings already placed and then you're thinking about path networks and a lot of times it just doesn't work as well so I think this is gonna look good connect down there we'll connect this up here I mean, there we go. I think we'll connect one right here, too. And probably right here. Because they can use this as a bridge. They can walk across this. Yeah. So I think that is pretty good. Maybe we'll put another one in here. Just because we'll probably put some trees and stuff in there. And so I'm going to do water parks real quick. Or we place i think we'll continue using this little adler guy since those were the ones that i used down by the water and this whole neighborhood would kind of be built around that guy i think we're going to put some next to our paths i think it would be smart too to do a bridge over here And there we go. I think down that main road it looks really good. I think down this road too, maybe. Yeah, there we go. I think that looks really good. Um, I want to wait for the buildings to come into place any more landscaping. And then I did want to place maybe some sort of unique building down here. It's kind of funny though. Um, I was messing around. I had so many mods and assets I went in and <clears throat> um, was cleaning them up and I inadvertently reset a lot of my unique buildings and I didn't even notice it until I tried to go in here and I noticed that a lot of the ones that I had gotten um, were were not I couldn't get them anymore so like we have the posh mall and the grand mall in this in this uh in this map and for some reason I just don't have them and so we're gonna have to make it a challenge for me to go after these I had pretty much I mean I had a lot of them um, I've played City Skylines on Xbox and also another computer and so for some reason um, the Xbox ones didn't carry over I don't know if I had uh, maybe a Paradox account or something but I have already unlocked all unique buildings but <laughs> As you can see, we are definitely back to the beginning because some of these are real basic, like Construct Harbor, um, Construct Three Instances of University, um, Wind Flood Land, which I haven't really messed with the challenges too much. Um, have a level five city park, which is like so stupid. 
I placed the claws on multiple of my cities too. And uh, yeah, just you know, seven instances of multi-platform train station, which I don't think I've ever gone after that one. There's a couple that I haven't, haven't actually gone after, but so this is definitely going to be something that we're going to have to incorporate into the game because uh, messed up, and so now we got to go after them again. So yippee, yay! Um, I did start another map and went after a couple. Like I did a meteor strike on one of my old maps when I first found out. I was like pretty upset about it. And then I tried to kill the whole city by getting the posh mall back. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to have to do say something in an episode on it. And so now it's just something we got to work towards. So it actually looks like we may not have something cool to place down here. Maybe, I mean, the boat museum could be could be interesting. Boat museums are some good admiral boats. It's a wonderful destination for tours. Yeah, I mean, that. let's see if, how that looks. Because that, I mean... We have a little fairy stop right there, and so maybe I think that probably fits in really well. I don't know if tourists can get to that, but I mean it says they can, I mean, and they should be able to walk right over that, so we'll see though. One thing I did want to mess with while we were right here is make sure that we have access to these. Yeah, there you go, and then I want to probably Yeah, there you go. That is insanely steep. That would be like a hiking trail, like level five hiking trail. Um, I think we'll probably Yeah, there you go. It's kinda like just a bunch of concrete. I mean, that looks uh, pretty bad, but let's see if we can maybe soften that up. I'll probably just get rid of that. I don't know if we'll be able to do one on that side, which is okay. We got this access right here, which is good enough. And so let's go about connecting up some electrical and of course this one over here is connected up but this one on the other side is not there you go okay and so let's zone this guy <clears throat> and so i'm not just going to go in and zone everything i don't want buildings on the roundabouts for one um, we're going to put buildings on the outside because I think we're going to end up doing a commercial area. I don't really want the commercial to be right next to this, especially since we didn't really optimize this for traffic. And so I think we will do that. Uh, and you know what? we got a place down a school. So let's do an elementary school. This. Let's put it right there in the middle and let's see if we can place... Yeah, I mean, it's going to delete all our paths. Yeah, we'll do that. Because then it covers the whole neighborhood, and then we get a, we get a library in there, which is important. And so let's go um, We also didn't place parks. That's why I quickly paused it. We got only one park in here, and parks are super important. And so I'm just going to place a couple of these small ones. I'm not going to get too crazy with them, because these are just more like in-neighborhood parks. And I like doing a couple of the dog parks. And so I think that is pretty good. And then what I want to do whenever these expand is, is do some more detailing. I think we'll end up doing a bridge right here, though, because I, I think this is going to end up being a really busy interchange. And so let's go back over here. And there you go. And then so we'll probably go three up. Yeah, I think three would probably be good. Let's see, though. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. And so the goal, the reason I'm doing this is just because it um, makes it so pedestrians don't have to be in the road. And you definitely see these um, a lot. And so I, I really like them. I hope the traffic to continue going, especially in, in a neighborhood like this. You wouldn't want people to... Eh. 
There we go. That looks a little weird right here. I think I'm going to fix this. Just because, I mean, it works, but it just looks weird. I'd rather have it a little cleaned up, at least a little symmetrical. And then I don't know if I can really do anything about that. I think what we'll try to do maybe is get that seam curve on. Yeah, there you go. And then what I can do is just connect that up there. Perfect. I mean, I think that looks really, I mean, I think that looks good though. Yeah, right there. And so now we got a nice little crossover. So people don't even have to worry about it. And do we have enough electrical? have electrical down here I mean ideally I don't want to have to put in power lines and so we'll wait a second and hopefully the electrical just jumps but we may need to put some down while we're waiting we definitely need to do a little service center and if nobody's watched me before I really like doing these I've done these in I do these in most of my cities so um, it's kind of a little bit of a cheat for land value if you put all your services together then you just get really big areas that are hugely beneficial for your land value i think we'll just do that there you go and we're not going to do any commercial on the inside in here but so we'll do yep, some medical and then we'll do some fire, police station, and then let's see if we can fit an elder care in here. If I anarchy that in, is it going to be in the road? I don't think so. Mm. Yeah. I don't think that's going to work there, but maybe it could work over here. Yeah, that looks better. There you go. It still looks a little weird, but... Of course, the children's center works good. Yeah. And let's see. So we got medical, fire, police. We need some other random medical stuff. So I want to get the sauna in here. I'd like to get the sports hall and gymnasium if we can fit it anywhere. I don't, you know, I don't think it's going to be too big. Which is okay. I mean, we, uh, we didn't really optimize it for that, and so we'll do that. And then we'll just put in a couple offices in here. Nothing too crazy. Just a few. And then we will put commercial around the outside. And there you go. So at least now there's a little bit of shopping going on. Not a lot, but still a little bit. We just need to put in some water pipes. And I was really hoping this was going to connect. We're just going to connect. have to connect these up real quick. Which is okay. I really don't like the look of it, but we'll just have to come through and delete them afterwards. Which isn't the end of the world, but it's not ideal. At least they have power now, so we're not going to get abandoned buildings just because of power. And does that police station cover? Uh, I guess it's not a great spot for that police station. We probably should have just put it on the outside. Mm. We'll probably end up having to do another one over here. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it's kind of suck. We'll just do it. We'll put a couple in here and just satisfy those needs. And there you go, especially since it's a high-rise neighborhood, um, the needs would be pretty big. And it is raining. All 
Okay, and so while we're, we're waiting, um, and we're going to leave a lot of this undeveloped, I just want to get our trolley st or our ferry stop in, and then probably on the next episode we will mess around with adding onto this area, which because this is across the street from our big entertainment area, it's probably going to end up falling that same kind of category, and so I think that would be fair. Yeah, there you go. And so let's go back to our little bike guy. Come up here, and so let's follow this down. I don't really know what we're probably going to end up. We'd like to have like some, yeah, I think that would probably be good like that. And so let's go in here, and I think this area right here, especially since it's already kind of lowered, is just going to make sense. So we'll go to level terrain. We'll increase that brush size by quite a bit. And we'll just come in here. And flatten out a nice area. So I think for this side too, we'll probably just keep it a park. We already have a really nice riverfront area. And so I think um, keeping this one a park would be good as well. And there we go. I think that looks pretty good. I think it's a little extreme on this side. Yeah, there we go. And so we'll come up here. I think we will end up slope terrain. Yeah, there you go. It's a little bigger than I was thinking, but that's all right. We'll just move these rocks out of the way. I don't really know where we're going to put them for right now. Maybe right there. And then I think for this side I wanted to do like one of those pedestrian roads. I think, you know, we could probably even do that for this side. I think that would look good. Do I like this boardwalk road? It still allows road access, but it's primarily for for pedestrians, and so I think it'll be good. Yeah, and I think they look great. I love these little pedestrian roads. I think they just look so cool. Yeah, it's just like a boardwalk coming down, and so... Technically, cars can still come on it, but it's it's definitely mostly for for walking. Oh, there's people down here. Oh, this little museum's pretty popular. I think the, the ferry's going to end up being pretty popular too once we get it going. So I think using that same road over here would just be really cool. And so I think we'll end up branching off of here. I think maybe for this one we'll end up doing a little bit of shopping. There's so much space. I, I definitely made it a little bigger than I should have. Yeah, I mean, this is huge. But we could maybe just do a park down here since we don't really have any water sports parks. And so I think that could be good. 
because we don't have any sort of piers or anything like our key walls are a little taller and so I, I don't think we've had the ability to really do that at all Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. I think we could even maybe lower this down a little bit to get it a little closer to the water. It might look weird though, so let's, let's just see. Yeah, there you go. I think that actually looks really good. Yeah, just get it closer to the water and then it's kind of a little downhill on this too so and so i think for a ferry stop we'll definitely want it to be before this waterfall action <clears throat> i don't really know if um people going on water taxis would be would be looking for uh, uh i think we have to do the regular key wall for is okay I mean we'll just uh, just do it right there and then yeah I think that's good and then we'll just have yeah it's pretty good it's a little high yeah there you go that's a little more realistic and then it still allows a little bit of room I think we'll probably change that back to yeah there you go because then i mean there's still a nice area for people to sit down but at least it's a little farther away from the ferry stop and so let's go ahead and paint in the ferry stop before i forget so ferry path i think because Because it's just two, I can uh, just do one. I believe so. It's been a little while since I've done fairies. Decided to put the ferry depot on this other side. Yeah, because um, all of our water stuff is over here anyways, and so I really needed to figure out a road that could provide access to maintenance workers over here, and so I felt like it was maybe just a good time to put this road over here. So I had thought about it for a little while, but...
So at least now there will be a little bit of access for these people. Not a lot of access, but a little bit. And there you go. I mean, I don't know if they would do these crazy bridges for uh, something like this, but I mean, it's maintenance. You would have to have access to these water pumps, and so I think that's smart. Um, I don't know if it would end up being two bridges, but we'll leave it at that. Um, Cause yeah, you would have to have access. And so it's actually good. We'll have the ferry depot right there. And then we will come over here, connect that up. And then let's just do some ferry lines. Create another one. And it's just two, so it's actually really easy. And add stop. And then come back. Call it done. Nice little ferry stop. I think that's actually going to be really good. Um, it's a little bit farther away. And so it actually might do really well in terms of traffic because there's not really a bus line or anything equivalent that would be able to transport people from that area to the next and so that's pretty good let's see how many lines how many ferries it's going to give us eh, i mean five one two that's i mean fair because at least we'll pop populate our our river I think we'll end up doing like little shops down here, but I think for right now we are just going to connect up this road and then do a little review of everything we did and then we will leave this area for next time. Bah, 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 bah. Kinda sucks, I mean I was hoping that we were going to be able to do all this, but uh, it's kind of weird. So we've got that up there. I think eh, I don't even. That doesn't look that great. Maybe we'll just continue this up and connect it. Yeah, it's kind of weird for right now, but I think that's good. So we got our ferry stop. It would have been nicer to get the ferry stop over here. But I think, I mean, having it at the beginning is still functional because at least it's closer to our best player and everything, so be good. And then we can, I think what we'll end up doing is putting in some key walls right here too because it is kind of weird having this tourist area with the little cliffs, but I think it is good. We just, we do need to connect this up too. And then I connect it with water. I think it would be cool to do like a little, another little riverfront boardwalk down there. So let's look at our new neighborhood. How's it coming along? And it's slow progress. Um, it's kind of to be a little expected though. I think what maybe we'll do is place a couple saunas in here. Because that's normally pretty good at boosting people's excitement for new neighborhoods and so on. I think that would be good and let's look at our land value real quick and see yeah I mean this area is pretty good and so people should be pretty happy about moving in here I just want to take a drive down this real quick see how this looks oh yeah I mean I really like how the walls came out I think that looks pretty good the little power lines don't look great, but those trees look really good. And then these walls, and even this bridge, I mean, fits in pretty well. You know, he's taking a right, perfect. And so on the right is our new buildings, on the left is, oh, this is our new uh, little area. Oh, uh, I think this is a police car, so he's going to the new little police station in here. I think that looks pretty good, and I, I really enjoyed that. That was, I like how this turned out. I think maybe we'll put in a couple more trees down here. I think that would be good. So maybe we'll do like some bigger trees on these little cliffs. Maybe, yeah, I think that could look good. Mm, that's, I think, a little too big. 
No, I think those look a little too big. No, I think that looks good. Yeah, I think um, so at least it's, you know, kind of cleaning up the hillside a little bit. I mean, the best part of taking this path would be overlooking the water. And so we wouldn't want to obstruct too much of that. And that's why I'm only going to do trees on the front side. But I think, I mean, that looks really good. We ended up, we had left this area kind of open. And so people could, maybe we'll put in a couple of little, little benches. I think that could be good. I think that would look good. I think they have those little circular. Yeah, I mean, they have these little pavilions. Yeah, we'll, we'll put in a couple of those. I think that would look really good. Yeah, there you go. And then now, so there's ferry access, which I'm not really sure a lot of people. Oh, so no water or electricity. It's definitely some problems. Why is there no water over here? Hmm. Did we mess up one of our waters? No, oh, we did. Oops. Didn't see that. How did I up? Oh, still over here. Uh, I was from that road that I put in. Not great. That's. I mean, I've seen cities die for less, so that's not great at all. So I mean, is there anybody even in here? I mean, we got a couple people. I mean, then the neighborhood definitely came together. We still have some space to fill in. 